School security was the focus of tonight's Hamilton County School Board meeting. They voted to increase the number of student safety officers or SSOs in the district. They also heard from community members who say improving school facilities will strengthen that security. Karen Aguilar has this story. Karen. Greg, Superintendent Dr. Justin Robertson says they currently have 19 SSOs and plan to hire 25 more. SSOs don't just police, but have relationships with students. Yes, Mr. Smith. Yes. Mrs. Sermon. Yes. The Hamilton County Board of Education unanimously votes on a resolution to increase the number of student safety officers or SSOs in the district. This comes on the heels of the Uvalde, Texas elementary school shooting, but they say they've been wanting more SSOs for years. Sherry Ballard is here with her 12 year old daughter, Izzy. In elementary, middle or high school, you never know what anyone's environment is inside or outside and it is definitely needed in the schools. Izzy is in middle school. Do you feel safe in school right now? Mm -mm. Well, is I don't. Superintendent Dr. Justin Robertson says 25 campuses in the district don't have SSOs or school resource officers, known as SROs. The vote would change that. It's an opportunity to have an officer on every campus, and that's been a goal of the district since I've been here since 2019. And we can now do that. Funding was approved for $950,000. The Hamilton County Board of Education members say it's coming from their fund balance. Board members are asking for an additional $1 million from the county commission. How much is a child's life worth? By this amount of money. Salaries and background checks and uh, training. Board and community members want school facilities improved as well. I think we've got to remember that safety is directly tied to the maintenance needs and the um, the facility, the way, that, the way that our schools are built. Corbin says they are working on that. Is it something that we can be privy to? Not really. In the meantime, the additional SSOs are a victory for student safety. How do you feel about having a little more of that protection? Um, I would feel like very protective, like I'm like in a uh, fort. Like Corbin says they will begin the hiring process for SSOs tomorrow and are hoping to have them on campus this coming school year. Reporting live in the studio, Karen Aguilar, Local 3 News.